Hey guys, Stina Rose here, and welcome back to another episode from the Wells Night Patreon server. We are here on our island. As you can see, there's Jack's house in the background and our castle, along with a couple of mushrooms wandering around. Um, I have been doing a lot of grinding between episodes, been doing a lot of work with my villagers, uh, clearing out some area in my mines, uh, trying to find diamonds, you know, things like that. So that's been going on, lots of that. Also, if you notice behind me, I have three shulker boxes, and I want to show you what that's all about here in just a moment, because Proteus and I went end raiding the other day. And, um, nope, too far. There we go. Proteus and I went end raiding the other day and had a very successful trip. Um, I got quite a bit of loot, and so these these three shulker boxes are full of what I managed to get from that raid. Now, I want to to say without Proteus, I would have died. I would have died very, very often, and I would have given up because I don't like combat, and uh, I don't like shulkers, and flying over the void scares me, but... We did okay, and if you notice, there, I am still at zero deaths. So, we're holding on. Um, came close a couple of times. Um, levitation is a bit scary, and at one point I actually tried flying through a forest of chorus fruit. So that was, uh, yeah, that was not good almost experienced kinetic energy there, just didn't die. Anyway, let's take a look at what I've got. So as you can see, um, got a, one dragon head, could have gotten more, but one was enough. Several elytra, a couple of stacks of shulker shells. Now some of those shells, some of those shells I bought previously, so about, about 36 of those, maybe 40 of those, were ones that I already had. Um, and I kind of just put them in the box before realizing that I probably should have kept them separate for now, but that's okay. Got a few diamonds, got a whole bunch of helmets, um, lots of curses on these. So we've got Curse of Vanishing there, uh, Curse of Vanishing here some good chest plates. I mean, that's, that may end up being um, a chest plate for me in case I die and lose everything. But here, you know, Curse of Vanishing, lots of leggings, um, Curse of Vanishing, Curse of Binding, things like that. So good gear in this. Um, more diamond gear here. Some diamond tools. Horse armor, uh, some emeralds, some iron, iron gear, more iron gear and tools. Of course, the potions of healing, which are going to come in very handy. Some golden iron, you know, think, just a few other things. Um, as you can see, I kind of organized my chest from the nicest stuff to the least nicest stuff. But uh, I'm going to grab two of these right now and four of these. And I'm going to make up a couple more shulker shells, shulker boxes, I should say. Um, because today, today we are going to get started on a project that I've been putting off for a little while. Finding reasons not to do the project. And that project, if we can get going here, is to work on the beanstalk. Okay, so <laughs> I've left Angel's statue up, uh, added the dragon, um, the dragon that was inhabiting Jack's house here, um, removed the shelker box that was there, and then someone is borrowing my egg, but they're going to be returning it very soon. Um, is this the, yes, that's the box. So. Let's just put down this 
and grab grab a bunch of this terracotta concrete this might all fit in one so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the beanstalk out of terracotta and concrete and concrete powder oh boy we're going to have a bit of a thunderstorm sounds like and we may even use some of this glazed terracotta not completely sure on that but i wanted to have it just in case so let's pick this up out of the water oh sand and gravel to make more concrete if i need it um boy Okay, so I made a storage room, and I haven't completely gone through and put my chests together correctly yet. That will happen. I promise it will happen. It's just not happening right now. What are you guys doing back here? Oh. Where'd the... Okay. The stocks are gone. Stop raining now. Ooh, getting lots of lag from this. Um, lots of lag. Don't drop me out. Don't drop me out. This is the time of night when my internet starts going bad, so I am a bit nervous about that. All right, let's move you out of here. Come back here. Can't do much about the sheep. Don't want to Don't want to really deal with them right now. Well, I guess I guess what I could do, um, let's just go like this, we'll replant that seed, we'll grab the wheat, let's try to entice these sheep out of here. Come on guys, let's come this way. Come on. It's not that hard to walk. Come on, sheep. There's some good sheep. Okay. That'll get him off the back. Let's plop down this shulker box here by the back door, which is open for reasons I don't know, and we'll get started. So I think what I'll do is I, okay, that's green concrete. The green concrete should probably be back here. Um, let's start with the lime. And... So this, um, this beanstalk, this beanstalk is going to be growing up out of the ground here at Jack's house. Um, if you if you remember the story of. Of Jack and the Beanstalk. I mean, there's several different versions of it, but part of the idea is Jack. Oh, this thunder. Jack sold his cow for a. Um, for a bunch of magic beans. 
not really the best uh, plan, I don't, I don't feel. I, I think I would be kind of upset with my son. Um, if he sold my cow for magic beans, but you know, that's a different story. Jack sold his, his family's cow for magic beans, and um, one of the versions goes that his mother was quite upset and threw the magic beans out the window, and in the night, a great big beanstalk grew. So that's kind of, that's that's what this is going to be. This is going to be the great big beanstalk growing up out of the ground behind Jack's house. Now, I'm going to start it off with just a, um, a single color, but we're going to go around. We're going to add some texture variation to this. We're going to add different layers to it. Um, vine. My plan is to have vines growing up the the edges of this and kind of twirling around it, coming off and adding a lot of interest. I also know that this is not going to go straight up. I've got it going quite straight right now. Please tell me I picked up more than that. No, I did not. Okay, well. I wasn't very good planning on my part. All right, can we see this from the outside, like the front yet? Oh yes, Let's start to see it come up over there. Okay, so this is going to be this is going to be a very tall build. Um, my plan for this is that it's going to go way up, um, not to building, not to the building limit because I want to put a giant's castle up there, but it's going to go way up into the sky, and then there's going to be kind of a cloud island up there with a with the giant's castle and things like that. So let me let me get some work done on this and and I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Hey guys, we are back and I have been doing some work on our beanstalk. As you can see, it is reaching way up to the sky. Now, I have built this and torn this down and built it again. Um, I tried to go with something more organic at first, but yeah, I need more practice with organic builds. So basically we're going to be um, doing something that, that's more straight. And I think when I'm done with it, it'll look good. This is just the first layer. So let's get a little bit closer and I'll show you what I've done. Come around the house. So we have a, a pillar of lime concrete powder up the center with this spiral, basically a spiral staircase of green concrete winding all the way up to, to the top of this pillar. Now currently the top of this pillar is sitting at 150. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be the end of it or if we'll go higher. I want to make sure that I leave room to build the uh, cloud platform as well as the giant's home up, up there. So I don't want to go too high and then limit myself because of the build limit, but I think that this is a good start. So the next phase of this project is going to be adding the next layer. Um, there's going to be, the next layer is going to be of, let's see. Let's use lime terracotta. I think that sounds like a good option for the next layer. Yeah, I think lime terracotta will be will be what we need. Um, this layer, let's see. Let's break out this dirt block here. Kind of even this out a little bit. This needs to be grass. All right, so this layer 
Oh, I've lost the... It's no longer on my hotbar. Okay. This layer is going to start here. I should... Should I inset that? I might want to inset that into the ground. No. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. So it goes there. There. Uh, there. Yeah, this may end up being inset. One, two, three. Right there. At least on that back portion. Now, this is also going to to spiral up, but it's going to spiral in the opposite direction. So this spirals this way. So this one is going to spiral the other direction. Um, what do you want? No, you, you may not climb the beanstalk. Go away. Go away. Oh, thank you. So this is going to spiral the other direction. Now, I'm I'm tempted to encase this part in some lime glass. Or maybe I should build this so it snugs up next to it. I, I'm just not sure. Right now, this is kind of a death trap. <laughs> um, I'm still sitting at zero, zero deaths here and I kind of want to keep it that way. And I've built a death trap, so that's not a good, a wise decision. Um, hopefully I can stay alive building this. But let me, let me get some work done on this section and build this spiral all the way up, and I will see you in a little bit. All right, we're back. And as you can see, I have made some significant progress on this beanstalk. Um, I'm really enjoying the way that these spirals are, are coming around each other. Um, yeah, I landed on top of a mushroom to get a better look at this. It's not as dangerous as I thought it would be. Let's go take a look and see. Ouch, I forgot to engage the elytra. Whoops. Um, let's go take a look and see what I've been doing. So these spirals kind of work around each other. Um, if we come in here and look up, you can see there's not a lot of gaps that, that you can fall through and die. Now there is one here. So coming right here. And I, I think what I may do is in this spot, this spot, this spot, and this spot where where they have these holes straight up. I may put in a water chute right here um, to make coming down from the top easier. It's very circular <laughs> and it is quite dizzying, but um, I like it. I, I like what's going on here. So as you can see, they kind of meet, they touch, even though these ones are going in that direction and this one is going in this direction. They do meet up every once in a while, giving you the option of changing the direction that you're heading so that you don't get quite so dizzy. And here, like you can change from the, the innermost one all the way out to the outermost one. And that's, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so, as you can see, um, the center spiral is just one one staircase going around, uh, one loop. This middle one here has two, um, two twisting around together. And this outer one right now only has one, but that's just because I need to make some more green concrete and, uh, and work on that. I'm debating on if I wanna just do two of these or try to fit in four. Four might be really cool to put in together. Um, yeah. 
I'm not sure how that would work would look but I think it might look really cool we'll have to see so let me get some green con more green concrete made and then I will do some more work here and bring you back in okay there we have it we have finished the four circles all the way up um, and that's all the way up to 150 the next thing that we would need to do is figure out <laughs> if I'm going to try to add some leaves and things to make to give this more of an organic shape. I'm I, I like it. I like that it's I mean it's very circular, but I'm in water. <laughs> but at the same time, it is very uniform, and I don't like that. So. I'm going to I'm going to see what I can do about adding some variation in here, some character, maybe some vines coming out. I don't know how much of that I'm going to do. I yeah, I'm going to have to play around with it and see if I can make it look more organic. But I'm really pleased with the structure that we have going on here, and I like that it's not um it's not actually that dangerous. When I first started this and was working on the center column, this thing, it was quite dangerous. I mean, you're just going up and up and up in a very tight circle. But adding these outside bits, um, other than the fact I just fell off, adding these outside bits really cause it to feel safer. I mean, if you if you fall off the edge, of course you're going to die. Um, but if you fall down into the center, you're just going to land on a platform lower than you, except for these spots right there. And that's where I said that I was thinking about putting a water drop in so that if you do end up falling straight down, there's somewhere to land still contemplating that trying to figure out if that's what I want to do so I I'm really pleased with the progress so far um, it's quite it's quite a trek up to the top of this well, see like right here um, yeah you can drop here but you're not gonna fall to your death you might take a little damage depending on how you land but you're not gonna fall to your death now from the top that's a completely different story and um, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to transition the top into the cloud and build the cloud and all of that good stuff. Now, the nice thing about this, this is still over the Mushroom Island, which means no mobs are going to spawn on this, uh, this vine, which is a really nice thing. But we're going to be building the cloud out that direction um, over top of the the ocean so we're gonna have to really think about spawn proofing it because I don't want I don't want a bunch of creepers blowing up my build up in the air um, that just seems like a, a recipe for disaster even if we're gonna land into the ocean if we fall I don't care <laughs> To die that way I, I just don't so here we are we're up at the top now this is going to have to be like I said I've got to figure out how I'm going to incorporate this into the cloud but as you can see it is quite a distance down to Jack's house now um, the animals don't even render at this height But look, I mean, you can fall here and you're just going to land on a platform lower than you. So I'm, I am pleased with that. I was kind of afraid that I was building a death trap. And I don't want to die. Now, a few minutes ago, just before I hit record on this, I jumped off of this platform. And my elytra did not engage. And I landed on Jack's house. And I was like, okay, I should be dead. And then my internet cut out. So... When I logged back in, I was still standing up here. So my, my bad internet, the, the troubles I've been having, actually saved my life. 
Of course, they could have been the reason my elytra didn't engage. But um, yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really quite pleased with the progress that we have made on this um, this beanstalk. I th I think it's it's off to a really really good start. Okay, kinetic energy is a thing. Okay, yeah, I I panicked a little. So let me um. Let me see what I can do about making this look a little bit more organic and see if I can come up with anything. And I will see you in a little bit. Hey guys, we're back. And I wanted to start off this section down here in our trading hall because something really exciting has happened. As you know, um, I started off this trading hall a, a couple, well, not that long ago and I want to show you what we've got so we have this librarian it's very decent paper trade but that's not the best part because look right here for 18 emeralds we have mending folks we have mending and I'm really thrilled so I wanted to show you that and uh, let you know where that progress is um, mending that's that's excellent love it so if I die and it's bound to happen hasn't happened yet see we're still at zero deaths um, well just the one from before they they started counting deaths um, but we're still at zero deaths but if we die or when we die and if I lose all my gear we do have bending so we can can get good gear again so really glad that he's with us but that's not really what this episode's been about, is it? We have been working on the beanstalk. And guys, I think the beanstalk is done. Isn't that cool looking? I love how it comes out of the fog. Um, added the leaves. I may do some more, um, add some more leaves, maybe some vines coming like tendrilled vines coming off of it. But for now, for now, I think the beanstalk is done. Uh, really, really thrilled with the way this turned out. It came out a lot better than I thought it would. So that's a, that's a really good thing. It's nice to see an idea come to fruition and, and surpass your expectations. And that's kind of um, what's going on here. I'm really thrilled with the, uh, yeah, with the, the result of, of this beanstalk. So Jack's house is finished. Got to still do some interior work. Hello. Um, we've got the beanstalk finished. I need to clean up this area over here. Uh, my egg's been returned to me. And... I guess the next thing for this project would be starting to work on the clouds where the the giant's castle is going to be up there but don't have the resources nor the time to do that for this episode so guys that is where we're going to leave it today if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like subscribe and leave me a comment i really appreciate it and i want to hear from you let me know what you think of the beanstalk I want to hear some ideas that you have for the Giant's Castle or other builds that we can do here on our fairy tale island. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.